I'm like salivating. It smells so good. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the okra and some soup. Welcome back to Vegas Vixen in the Kitchen. So today we're gonna to be making another one of my favorites from my childhood, sweet and sour catfish soup, also known as Lama Ju Yuan. So we're first we're gonna get started with our catfish. So I, here I have three catfish steaks, and I season them with salt and pepper, and the pepper is supposed to help get rid of the fishiness, and we're gonna come back to this later. And then I wanna show you guys um, our veggies that we're gonna be putting into the soup. Um, so the cool thing is, is all of this stuff you can buy in a kit. So at the Asian market, there's these kits that come with the pineapple, the tomato, the herbs, and it's just enough to make one serving of soup, which is super convenient because then you don't have to go buy everything individually. And then I'm gonna start off with the pineapple. So we're gonna be using just a quarter of a whole pineapple, not the whole thing. And I have some cut up here and I just cut this in half and I pretty much cut them into about half an inch thickness. And this gives the soup its tanginess. Then we're gonna set this aside. And then I have some celery that I actually cut up ahead of time too. And these I cut at a diagonal um, and about a half an inch thickness also. Then we have some tomatoes here, some Roma tomatoes. And what I do with the tomatoes, I just cut it in half. I cut off the, um, what is this called? The head, the core? No, because this is the core. So the head of the tomato, or the ends. And then I just cut it in half, and then into quarters. Set this aside. And then we have some elephant ear stem. So the reason why you call this an elephant ear stem is because the leaf of this vegetable looks or resembles an elephant, an elephant's ear. And that's why they call it that. And in Cambodian, I believe it's called krat. And so what you do is you just peel off the skin and then my mom used to soak it in salt and then uh, washes it out first because she says that it's Supposedly makes your tongue itchy, but I find that it's just fine if you just use it or cut it up um, the way it is and just put it in the way it is. Um, so I just kind of cut it diagonally and I just move it um, around. And you can really cut it any way you want. And then I'm gonna set that aside and this is actually one of my favorite um, vegetables in the soup. It's very spongy and it absorbs like the broth really well. And then another one is, these are lotus stems. And you can get these in a jar and they're like soaked in water. Sometimes it's pickled. Um, I, what I did was I opened the jar, cleaned them out, and then I cut them in halves with, uh, on a, at a bias. And then I have some okra that I'm gonna be putting in whole. You can cut it up too, but I find that when you cut it, it leaves the slimy texture and then it changes kind of the texture of your soup. So it's up to you, your preference, if you want to cut it or not or leave it whole. I like it whole. And then last but not least, our herbs. So I have here rice patty herbs. And these are also called ma'am in Cambodian. And they smell really good and I think this is a really essential ingredient to making this soup because without it, it just wouldn't be, the, it wouldn't be the soup. It would be, I don't even know what it would be, because it's really essential. So we, I, I chopped that up into about half an inch also, and not super fine, kind of rough chop. And then we're gonna put that to the side. And then we have um, sawtooth herb, which I used this in a different episode and I didn't know the name of it then, but it's sotsu herbs, and in Cambodian it's jipala. So we're gonna put that in there too, roughly chopped. And we're gonna save the herbs for the very end. And now that we have our herbs and all of our ingredients 
prepped and ready to go, we're gonna start making the soup. So now we have olive oil in the pan, nice and hot. We have some fresh minced garlic here that we're going to throw in. And we're gonna fry it a little bit. And this is gonna be for the finishing of the soup. It enhances the flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait until it browns up. And then we're ready to add a little bit of chili paste for redness and then take it off the fire. Now that you see that it's getting a golden brown color, I'm going to add a little bit of the chili paste. And we need the oil and the chili paste in just a little bit. And that is ready to be taken off of the fire. We don't want the garlic to burn. All right, now that we have it nicely golden brown color, we're gonna put it into a little bowl and set it aside for the end. So now we're gonna get this pan nice and hot and we're gonna sear our catfish. This helps it not break up inside the soup and it also gives it a nice little color. So the pan is nice and hot. We're gonna get some oil in there. Nicely coated. Make sure this oil gets a little hotter. And then we're gonna put in our catfish steaks. brown each side. So we're not trying to cook it through or anything. We just want to get it a nice sear. I'm going to turn this over. We can actually use a little more color. So we're going to just sear this for maybe another two to three minutes. And since the pan is still hot, I'm just going to move it aside and we're just going to leave it on here. Move our pot over. Set that aside. And we have some chicken broth. I'm going to use the whole thing. along with some water. All right, so I have the chicken broth and water and it's starting to come to a boil. And I'm going to add one lemongrass stock. This helps enhance the broth and some kefir lime leaves. Then I'm gonna add the catfish. And we don't want to cook it too long because we're going to take it out before we put in the vegetables just so that it flavors the broth a little bit and then we're going to add it at the end again so that it doesn't fall apart. So we're going to let that come to a boil. Okay, so I feel like now is the right time to take off the fish so it doesn't cook all all the way, or it's cooked all the way, but so it doesn't fall apart. And then we're gonna re-add it at the end. And we're gonna turn this down to a simmer. I'm going to add the pineapples first. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Then the pineapples. And the cool thing is, the vegetables doesn't take long to cook at all. And then we're gonna add the lotus. And I like a lot of this, so extra lotus stems for me. 
and it's optional. You actually don't have to use this. Some people actually use um, bean sprouts instead. So it's definitely your preference. And then I'm just gonna let that come to a boil real quick before I add everything else. Okay, now I'm gonna add some fish sauce. Put this aside. Then we're gonna add the tomatoes. Oops, lost one. Celery, and I don't like my vegetables cooked that much. So I'm probably gonna add this and then turn the, or add the fish and then turn the stove off. And then add the okras. And the stems. All in it goes. And we're gonna let it come to a boil before adding the fish back in. Okay, now that I've added everything, I almost forgot the sugar, so we're gonna add a little bit of sugar and that counteracts the sourness that I'm gonna add at the end from the lime. Um, most people like to use tamarind paste. I prefer lime juice and it's just totally up to you. And then now I'm gonna add the fish back in. to another boil. Finish off with our herbs and a straggler okra. And then we can turn off the heat and we're ready to serve. So now that we took the soup off of the heat, we're going to add the fresh lime juice that I'm gonna squeeze into the pot right now. And you can actually add however much you like depending on how sour you like it. I'm gonna add two limes. And I like to do this when I take it off of the heat. It smells so good and so fresh. Now that I've added the lime, I'm gonna swoop it around a little bit. And then I'm gonna start serving. Mmm. So this soup is perfect for any season. Summer, winter, you name it. Awesome. And then I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of fresh herbs that I save on the side. And then some fresh chilies that I'm gonna chop up. And again, this is optional. Some people like the chili and fish sauce on the side for a dipping, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. There you have it, guys. Sweet and sour catfish soup, slaw machu yuan. All right, so I'm going to finish it with some of our fried garlic, and that's the best part. And then we're gonna try some. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit, get the garlic in the soup. I'm like salivating. It smells so good. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the okra and some soup. It's the perfect balance of sweet and sour. The herbs really come through and it's great. And just so you guys know, the reason why I'm making this particular dish is for Kendra. Kendra requested me making the sweet and sour soup for her husband. 
So Kendra, I hope you like it and when you try it, let me know. Send me pictures, tag me on Instagram. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, let me know what you think and subscribe, share it on your social media. And again, if you guys have any recipes that you would like me to make, shoot me a message on um, the comments or follow me on Instagram and find me there. Until next time. Whoa. Whoa. So now that we have the little mess. Trying to make it look pretty, guys. Forgot. Can I say it again? Yes. <laughs> um,